Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, as you guys saw from the title, I'm going to be unboxing, finally, <laughs> the NYX Love Lust Disco 24 piece advent calendar. This retails for $60. I purchased it from Ulta's website. I will have a link down below in the description box. If you've been watching my videos for quite some time, you know that I unboxed the Essence Advent Calendar, the Sephora Collection one, the Ulta Beauty one, the Macy's and the Charlotte Tilbury one. So this is what, the sixth one to my collection. I'm very excited about this one. I know that this released in the UK quite a while ago, but it recently released in the US, so it's available for us US citizens. <laughs> Yay! I, of course, did not peek. It's still sealed. I don't know what's in here. I just wanna open this up right over here. But firstly, what it says is, stacked with 24 fan fave tones, you'll find one amazing lippy after another featured in the epic lip line. You open it up just like that, and then here is what it looks like. It is gorgeous. I'm loving the whole vibe. It looks so super cool, and I'm just so happy to have this in my life, okay? I'm a lippy addict i should say so this honestly could not be more perfect all right so i see that with this one uh the numbers just go straight across so they're not like all over the place it's like just literally one two three all right number one is right over here i don't know how i'm gonna do this but this is a deluxe size lip product now i don't know if we're getting only deluxe size products or full size but we will see as we move on this is one of their butter glosses. I absolutely love these. I've mentioned them quite a few times on my channel. So to get it in here is kind of exciting. I This one right here is in tiramisu. Yes, and the quality of these glosses are insane. So that's what it looks like. Very pigmented. It's very creamy on the lips and very, very comfortable. So here you guys can see what tiramisu looks like on the lips. Very nice, very creamy. It just has a little wash of color. And it's so damn comfortable. We on to day number two, which is this one right over here. Sorry that, that I'm holding it in an awkward angle. It just doesn't fit in the whole thing. Yay! I've been wanting to try these. This is the Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in Cherry Skies. And yeah, it's just like the name says. It's a gorgeous, beautiful, gorgeous is my favorite word apparently. Um, cherry type of color. That's what it looks like. Very creamy, very pigmented. This is a beautiful color. But um, a little bit goes a long way. Do not go heavy handed with this because then it goes out of your lip line and then it looks really messy. I feel like it has a, um, I, I applied it a little bit messily. But also, I think that with this one, it's essential to apply it like with two coats because um, it doesn't apply as evenly as I would like. So that's with these. It has a very watery consistency. Moving on to number three. Right here. I was waiting for that. <laughs> I just wanted you to fall. Okay, now I'm thinking to myself, they're all deluxe size lip products, but I'm kind of happy because they're not like annoyingly deluxe size. They're like teenager size. You guys know I love using that because it's a really good, great way to describe stuff. It's not a baby, it's not a mom, it's a teen. So this one right here is a NYX lipstick in the shade Alabama. And it actually also seems like it's more of a cherry-ish type of shade. I don't think I've ever tried the formula of these. Looks really good. I feel like maybe these two would pair really well together. Here's what Alabama looks like on the lips. I feel like it has a little bit of a drying feel. I wouldn't say it's my favorite formula of life. I mean, it's the first time that I'm trying it, so I still have to play around with it, but so far I'm in between. The color is cute though, it's cute. Uh, moving on to number four, which is this one right over here. This is really nice quality, by the way. Okay, so this is one of the soft matte lip creams and it's in Se Paolo. I'm not sure. But this is also more of like a rosy-ish kind of color. These are also really nice from NYX. My favorite lip products from them that I've tried are these. And then the glosses are my favorite. The butter glosses are like my favorite product from them. Eee. <laughs> Let me put this on. This color is so damn nice. There's something very unique about it. Like it has a rosiness to it. But it's, it's, it's like a loud rosy shade, you know what I mean? I really like this. Yeah. Moving on to day number five, which is this one right over here. Ooh, this is one that I've been wanting to try, but never tried. I think it's, I don't know, they're newer lip products, or at least new to me. It's the This Is Everything Lip Oil. Nice! Uh, and this is in the shade Sheer, so I'm assuming it's gonna be a nice sheer pink. <laughs> I'm assuming as if like, it's not obvious. <laughs> I love, love, love lip oils. The Clarence ones are probably my favorite, but I didn't even know that NYX makes something like this. It smells so good. I feel like I'm just gonna put it on top of this because I don't think it's gonna really show because it looks like it's literally sheer. Obviously. It's like a massage for your lips, you know, like, huh, uh huh. 
really, really nice. Okay, moving on to number six. We have the Soph Matte Metallic Lip Cream. Really cool in Monte Carlo. Looks just like that. Also seems more of like a cherryish color. Is that a th is there a thing going on here? It says it's a metallic finish, right? But it doesn't seem overly metallic though. Like it, there's a hint of metallicness, but not in a way where it seems like it's dramatic, which I think could be good because then it's it's more wearable. Here's what this shade looks like. And like I said, it's metallic, but not overly metallic. And it literally dries on pretty much instantly. Very comfortable. I feel like, is this a stain? No, it's a lip cream. Don't try to make sure, okay. Moving on to number seven, which is right over here. Yes. The, hopefully it's in a shade that I don't have yet. It's in Madeline. It's a, another one of their butter glosses. These are the best. I feel like we have a hint of pinkiness still on my lips because other lip products stained it, but that's pretty much how Madeline yeah, looks like on the lips. Beautiful mid-tone, more cooler tone nude. So pretty. You guys, if, if you don't want to buy this, just buy one of these on their own. You'll thank me later. I know that you'll thank me because they're amazing. Moving on to day number eight. Why is it awkwardly positioned? Um, this one right here is one of the NYX liquid suede. So I see they're kind of like interchanging between a few different type of lip products. This one right here is in soft spoken. And again, it's more of like a mauve-ish type of color. I didn't swatch the other one, one second. So pretty, it just adds a nice hint of color. I love it and it's so shiny too. Okay, now let's swatch the uh, liquid suede in soft spoken. Whoa, so damn nice. Yeah, so not as mauvey as it looks like from the package. I would say more nude, and this gloss would literally pair so well with that. Okay, now we're up to day number nine, which is back over here. Another one of their lipsticks. This is the matte lipstick in natural. So I see they're including, well at least so far, they've been including more natural-ish, wearable, everyday kind of shades, which I think is pretty cool because I feel like anyone would wear these kind of colors. It's so pretty. It's more pinky in tone, I should say. Wow. It has a nice velvety feel. I don't know why I feel like this one feels better than the other one. Or maybe I just didn't like the color of the other matte lipstick. Moving on to number 10. We have another one of the... Well, sorry. Um, this is the Soul Matte Lip Cremes in Abu Dubai. Which looks just like this. So I see we got some red, um, raspberry type of colors, and then it's heading towards the nude family now, which is my language. This is so pretty on. Isn't it gorgeous? I feel like when it's swatched, it's a bit more browner in tone. On my lips, it has a little bit of like a pink. Maybe it's because my lips are a little bit stained. I'm not sure, but I feel like it would probably look different than everyone. I don't know. It's beautiful though. Number 11 is right here. This one right here is a soft matte metallic lip, and this is in the shade, I don't know, I think Copenhagen? I don't know how to say it. I don't know. Here's what the shade looks like. Again, metallic, but not overly metallic, and it's a nice wine type of color. This application is not doing me any justice, so please excuse me just for this one. Here's what it looks like on the lips. Pretty much just the way it looks like swatch. It's a nice color. It's not anything that I'm like, oh my god, about. Okay, moving on to day number 12. Another one, yeah. So I feel like they're doing um, gloss, suede lipstick, um, lipstick, and then metallic, and then gloss, and then lipstick. You know what I mean? This one right here is an angel food cake. It's one of the butter glosses. Very pretty. Absolutely love how angel food cake looks like on the lips. It's. Was I talking this whole time without an earring? No. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely, I don't care. I don't care anymore. I absolutely love how angel food cake looks like on the lips again with these butter glosses Very pigmented very creamy great to wear with a lip liner, especially um, But also really nice to wear with a lipstick nice to wear on its own for a sheer wash of color moving on to 13 Which is this one over here Another NYX suede. I really want to open 24 Here is the NYX liquid suede cream lipstick in sandstorm so nice, it's so nice. It's 
So here's what Sandstorm looks like on the lips. Honestly, at this point, I don't even know what to say because I feel like I'm just repeating myself again and again with all these lip products. But it is really pretty and you guys know I love these kind of colors. It's just 100% me. It's not that comfortable. The hell? Give me a moment. Mm. Has a little bit of that like feel. All right. Okay, moving on to number 14. We have one of the matte lipsticks, as if I didn't know. This one right here is in perfect red, which sounds really, really good right now. I feel like this would probably be, be probably, I feel like this would probably be perfect for Christmas. It looks pretty good. Is it the perfect red? I don't know, you guys tell me. So here's what Perfect Red looks like on the lips. It is very pretty and I feel pretty confident in this red. A lot of times in red I'm like, ooh, but it's very nice. It was really easy to apply opaque with pretty much one swipe. I feel like it'd probably be better off with a lip liner, but I didn't use it with a lip liner just now and I feel like it applied pretty nicely, so A+. Plus. Um, moving on to number 15, which is this one right over here. We have the... NYX Soft Matte Lip Creme. And this one right here is in um, Monte Carlo. I feel like the other one was called something similar. Okay, here's what this one looks like. This is also a very nice red. I would say more cherryish compared to perfect red. Let's try this. Sorry, my foot is up here. <laughs> my, my foot was sleeping. I would say that this shade is pretty similar to the previous one when it's on the lips, but it has a little bit more of a, of a wine undertone to it. Uh, moving over moving down to 16, we have oops, we have the Soft Matte Metallic uh, Lip Cream. And this right here is in Canis, C-A-N-N-E-S. Uh, this is really cool. I don't really have any nudish type of shades that are in a metallic finish. Here's what Canis looks like on the lips. Definitely more towards like the pink family as opposed to like the nude or burgundy or like wine, you know? Like it's pretty much straight up pinky with a hint of metallic in there. Moving on to 17. Yeah, which is this one right over here. Butter Gloss. Um, this right here is in Praline. So there's what it looks like. Here's what Praline looks like on the lips. Just a nice, everyday nude. I feel like it would look good on everyone. Moving over to 18, which is this one right here. We have the NYX Liquid Swing Cream <laughs> lip product. And this right here is in Tea and Cookies. How cute is that name? And how beautiful is this pink? Oh my gosh, you guys. The, this was the kind of shade that I used to rock maybe about five years ago. Like mac snob or mac uh, saint germain this reminds me of that and i used to live in such colors not anymore personally i love 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 this color now i know why i used to wear it all the time um but yeah i think it's beautiful and i'll probably wear this with maybe one of the nyx butter glosses maybe to tone down the shade but even like this um i feel like i would rock it love it moving on to 19 which is this one right over here we have a, a matte lipstick and this definitely looks like it's more of like a rosy toned lipstick okay so i swatched it right up there really nice very creamy and pretty much a shade that you see here is how it swatches here we have whipped caviar i would say it's pretty similar to tea and cookies cookies and tea what was it again um but it's a little bit more muted ow Oh, I just killed my foot. I really like this color. Okay, moving on to 20, which is this one right over here. This is one of the Soft Matte Lip Cremes, and it's specifically in the shade. What? Oh. So this is in Canis, and it rang a bell because I remember opening up another one that said Canis, but the other one was a metallic lip product. This right here is a Soft Matte Lip Cream. So I don't know how I feel about that, you know, including the same kind of shades, just in different finishes. How do you guys feel about that? I think this color is stunning, perfect for every single day. A lot of these shades are perfect for day for a day-to-day -day basis. Moving on to 21. Oh, it'll be 21. <laughs> and young. So this right here is a, a soft matte metallic lip product, and this is in Milan. I'm just going to start swatching on fingers because... 
<laughs> I mean, I've never done this, but listen, gotta get creative around here. Here's what the shade looks like. I would say it's pretty similar to tea and cookies, or cookies and tea, whatever that was again. Um, but this one is has a metallic finish to it. So here's what Milan looks like on the lips. Again, it has a baby hint of a metallicness to it, but not overly metallic. And I feel like it might be even brighter than the other pinky shade that we tried. What was it again? Let me just get it right for once. Tea and cookies, not cookies and tea. All right, moving on to 22, which is this one right over here. Yes, such a beautiful color. Oh my God, it's like a fiery orange red. It is one of the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipsticks in Kitten Heels. Is it kitten or kitten? You know what I mean? It's the same thing with, um, one second. Oh, Santa Monica. Is it Santa Monica or Santa Monica? Let me know. Anyways, here's what Kitten Heels looks like. Very, very pretty. I love it. This is definitely one of my favorite colors that was included. It's so beautiful and I feel like it has like this, I don't know, fieriness to it in a way. Like it just looks really pretty. It looks nice, right? It's like vibrant. That's what I wanted to say. Okay, moving on to 23, which is this one right here. This right here is one of the matte lipsticks and it seems like it's a wineish type of color. It is specifically called Siren. And here is what it looks like. It's a very deep burgundy, actually, like a blackberry-ish kind of shade. <laughs> this is gonna be fun to wash. <laughs> so here is what the shade looks like. Here we have a siren. It's a true beautiful blackberry color. It's nice. Okay, and then finally moving on to day number 24, which is this one, the one we've all been waiting for. Please be exciting. No, it's just falling off. I think it would have been even cooler. Well, what kind of angle is this? I think it would have been even cooler if maybe they would have included something that we weren't expecting because I feel like we were expecting that since they were going along with the theme, you know? Oh, this is a soft matte lip cream and this in specific is in Rome. I think it would suit this um, lipstick really well. So here's what the shade looks like. Pretty similar to the previous one, but this one I feel like has a little bit more of a cooler-ish undertone. I already put it on my lips and I actually like this more than the previous lipstick that we tried. Just with this, I felt like I had to go over my lips two times, even three, because it's very thin in consistency, so it just it doesn't apply evenly for some reason. Anyways, that is pretty much it. My back is gone. <laughs> we did 24 lip swatches. Here is, once again, what all of the shades look like. Here are all the shades that you're receiving, so a little bit of everything. Burgundies, peaches, pinky shades, nude shades, clear shades red did i say red already so a really nice selection with various different finishes i like that they kind of just put in the lip oil which i think probably would have been even more exciting on the 24th day because it wasn't following the theme you know i think that this lip advent calendar is pretty good for the 60 bucks considering the fact that these are deluxe sizes but not baby baby sizes so let me show you guys here's a full size of a nyx lip product and here's a here are the sizes of the ones that come in here so not that much smaller in the large one we get we get 0.27 fluid ounces of product the ones that come into this kit have 0.4 yeah, so it seems like it's much less. I don't know. It still seems like a lot, though. I personally think it is worth the 60 bucks if you're a lip junkie, if you like trying out a whole bunch of lip products, different finishes, all of that, you might enjoy this. Also, um, I feel like it is a really good value because we got 24 products and this was 60 bucks, right? So how much is each lip product? Let's do the math. It's $2.50 per lip product, which I think is pretty, pretty good. I feel like I had something else that I wanted to say, but I, I just... My head is not here right now. 2.17 a.m. Just, I forgot. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I'm pretty happy with this. I would um, recommend it. I will have it linked down below in the description box. Let me know if you guys think this is a winner. If you think, like, not really feeling it. Let me know what's up. I'm going to head to sleep now. I'm sweating buckets. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.